Thank you all for coming two days in a row. We really appreciate everyone showing up and coming out for this great announcement. Uh, to get things started off today, we're going to have our county manager, John Vitokas. Thank you, Ben. Good morning, everyone. So I want to thank you all for being here. Happy Valentine's Day. So this is a great day and an entirely appropriate occasion to have this impressive love sculpture, sculpture as our backdrop. Today we're announcing a proposal that I believe further demonstrates that Henrico is a county with a heart and which shows that this Board of Supervisors recognizes the economic challenges our homeowners, families, and taxpayers are facing each day. Now, before we get into the details, I'd like to recognize the individuals that are here uh, with us today from the Board of Supervisors. We have the Vice Chairman, Mr. Tyro Nelson, from the Verona District, from the uh, Brooklyn District, Dan Schmidt, from the uh, Tuckahoe District, Ms. Pat O'Bannon, and from the Three Chop District, Mr. Uh, Tommy Brannon. Now, also here this morning, uh, we have Deputy County Manager Brandon Hinton. Where's Brandon? Um, our Finance Director, Sheila Miner. Our Budget Director, Justin Crawford. Real Estate Assessor, Jason Hughes. And I want to take a moment here and pause because every now and again we have someone from staff that does something truly incredible. Our new County Attorney, Andrew Newby, and his legal beagle. Sarah Maynard. Sarah, will you stand? Because, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to recognize Sarah Maynard for the work that she did last year that led to the first time that we did this, um, what we're going to talk about this morning. So you may remember about one year ago, our county announced plans to return surplus real estate taxes to our property owners. In the face of unprecedented economic circumstances and an overheated housing market, this board did what they do, and that is took action, returning millions of dollars to county families and taxpayers, and in doing so, our county became the first locality in Virginia to give back real estate tax dollars to its homeowners. A year later, I think you can all see that the local housing market hasn't really changed. It remains red hot through 2022, Property values have continued to rise, locally more so than nationally, due to sustained demand and limited supply of housing. Our law, our state law, requires that local real estate assessments reflect 100% of a property's fair market value. This means that many Henrico homeowners will see increases in their 2023 assessments. But this board, ladies and gentlemen, is taking action once again to help our homeowners call it Tax Relief 2.0. Today, we're pleased to announce a proposal for a new credit for property owners. And I'm going to cut it off at that and actually turn the podium over to Mr. Tyro Nelson, the Board of Supervisors, who will share all of the information with you. Mr. Nelson. Thank you, Mr. Manager. Good morning, everyone. And again, as the manager shared, um, happy Valentine's Day. You're going to hear from all of us. Um, my colleague, Mr. Thornton, um, was unable to be here with us, but he stands in solitude and support with us this morning. Last year, as the manager shared, we became the first locality in the Commonwealth to return surplus tax dollars to our taxpayers. We did it first with real estate revenue, then with personal property. As vice chair of the board, I'm proud to stand here today and tell you that we are proposing once again, tax relief as a part of the county's fiscal 2024 budget. As we saw last year, tax credit can make a real difference for our community. It provides extra money for individuals and for families to pay for things that we know are cost, costing more each day. Essentially, everyday expenses like gas, like groceries, and prescriptions. We learned a lot going through this process last year. Initially, we looked at sending checks to tax pay, taxpayers for credits of $50 or more. After listening to our community, we lowered that threshold to $30. 
Our proposal for this upcoming budget uses that same $30 threshold for sending out checks to our taxpayers. We're empathetic to the financial strains of our residents. We understand that they continue to feel it every time they go to a grocery store and purchase groceries or fill up their gas tank. We say it all the time, our county operates with the spirit in which we have a heart. The tax credit we're announcing today is another example of that. I'm gonna ask my colleague Dan Smith to come up and share as well. Hey, good, uh, good morning, good nearly afternoon to everyone. Welcome to the, uh, to the Brooklyn District. Proud to host this event here today with my colleagues. I would be remiss if I did not begin here today um, on Valentine's Day by welcoming a member of the Brooklyn District, the, the Brooklyn District resident at the very top of my Valentine's Day list. My better half, Sharon, is here with us today. So happy Valentine's Day, ma'am. And she's brought what I hope is her second favorite man with her. Easton is here with her today. So happy Valentine's <laughs> That's right. So happy Valentine's Day to everybody and welcome again to the, uh, the unofficial start of the budget review season. Truthfully, as our finance staff will tell you, uh, the planning and review of Henrico County's budget uh, never ends. But that is why we're able to make bold decisions such as this one on issues such as tax relief. It's because this county constantly focuses on our finances, watching trends, assessing and reassessing where the economy is heading. The tax credit proposed here today is not only responsive to our residents' needs, it's also responsible to our programs and our services and to this county's long-term financial health. You know, last year's real estate tax credit put $10 million back into the pockets of our residents. This year's credit will go even further. It will mean $11.2 million returned to our taxpayers. This is a wonderful way to kick off our budget season. My colleagues and I look forward to rolling up our sleeves as we review this budget line by line just over a month from now. We'll review the county manager's recommended annual fiscal plan as a part of this process, and I certainly invite all the residents and friends in this area to tune in in mid-March when we go through that process. Thank you all very much for being here today. I'd like to welcome Ms. Patricia O'Bannon to the podium. Happy Valentine's Day. I know Dan's wife is here and that's great to see. Uh, this is my husband's birthday. He is my, this is his birthday Valentine. And I think tax relief makes a great birthday Valentine. <laughs> now as someone who does a grocery shopping once a week, I believe tax relief is an excellent way to give you back your own money. And then you can buy two dozen eggs. Now, Mr. Thornton and I both joined the board in 1996, and in the years that we've been on the board together, we've gone through a lot of budgets, and there's been a lot of discussion, and a lot of compromises, and a lot of priorities that got addressed. But in Henrico, tax relief has always been a priority. That's why we have the Real Estate Advantage Program for older residents, and those who are permanently and totally disabled. That's also why we have been able to reduce our real estate tax rate. And when we took office in 1996, Henrico's real estate tax rate had been maintained at 98 cents since the last, since the 1970s. And in our first year, the board lowered the rate to 96 cents. Then it, we, we gradually reduced it to its current level of 85 cents, one of the lowest rates among large localities in Virginia. During that time, we never, not once even, had to increase the rate. And that's a tribute to our finance department and our manager and managers <laughs> through the years. And it speaks to our board's strong commitment to fiscal stewardship and the professionalism of our team. The proposed tax credit is part of Henrico's proud tradition of providing the best services for the lowest cost to the taxpayer. Now, Mr. Brannon, you wanna come and say a few words? Happy Valentine's to everybody and good afternoon. As you guys can see our map 
of the county is covered with hearts. Uh, and today, I'm in support with my colleagues, the idea of an additional tax credit. I also want to thank our county manager, John. Things like this is why you and your team are rated number one in the state. Uh, without sound projections, without information, without revenue and expenses, we not, might not be able to provide a kind of tax we now can, are considering. Uh, and that is done by the TOCUS, the deputy managers, and finance. Uh, we can't, as a board, say any more than what a great job. As, elect, uh, as an elected official, we hear all the time that our constituents are fiscally pressured uh, and the pressure is upon them. Uh, this concerns our citizens as well as it concerns our board. As Mr. Thornton has said for many years, Henrico has a heart. As we drive into the details of the budget, I'd like to challenge all of us, board and staff, uh, a tax credit of two cents per hundred is great. But let's start to think as we start going into our budget budget process that we start a discussion. We can do more tax relief. If we do more, what would it be like? What would be the impacts to our programs, to our services, and to our hardworking employees? This board and our staff are not afraid to work hard. We do it every day. So I'd like to challenge and see what we can do in the, in the near future. And I am sure to everyone, there's more to come. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Brandon, and good morning, everybody. My name's Sheila Miner. I'm the county's finance director. And to reiterate Mr. Brandon's remarks, I'd like to thank the board, the county manager, and my finance team for their efforts to make this proposal a reality. All of these public servants take the stewardships of our, stewardship of our residents' tax dollars very seriously, and I have the benefit of seeing their dedication to their community firsthand each and every day. I'd like to provide some additional details about this proposal. As the manager said, the proposed credit is equal to two cents per hundred dollars of assessed value for all properties. The current single family median price of a home is $367,000, which will result in a tax credit of $73.40. Again, doing math, which is one of my favorite things to do, a $150,000 assessed value will result in a $30 credit. That $30, Property owners receiving a credit of $30 or more under this proposal will be mailed checks in September, similar to what we did last year. Property owners with a credit of less than $30 will receive a credit on their upcoming real estate tax bills. For property owners who owe delinquent taxes, we will be applying their credit to their outstanding balances. Our staff anticipates issuing over 100,000 checks to property owners in September. All told, this proposal will return $11.2 million to our Henrico property owners. I should emphasize that these funds were not anticipated or factored into the upcoming 2023-2024 budget. The f source of these tax relief are surplus real estate tax dollars from prior fiscal year. This is the required source of funds by state code for property tax relief. Returning last year's surplus real estate taxes to our property owners will not affect funding for education, public safety, recreation, or any other county agencies, programs, or services. Turning to the timeline briefly, the 2023 reassessment notices will be mailed this week. Reassessment information is currently available on the county's website at henrico.us. An ordinance for the tax relief proposal we are introducing today will be introduced at the board meeting in May, and a public hearing and vote will be held in June. 
And as noted earlier, the checks will be mailed to property owners or applied to the second and half installment real estate bills in October. I want to remind everyone that the 2023-2024 budget will be introduced at the March 14th meeting. A public hearing on the budget is scheduled for April 11th, and a vote to approve the budget and pu a public hearing on the tax rates are scheduled for the board meeting on April 25th. In conclusion, more information on the Real Estate Tax Relief 2.0 program will be available on the Finance Department webpage at Henrico.us. 